Big restaurant chains including Olive Garden, Applebee's, IHOP, Cheesecake Factory are cutting back on delivery amid staff shortages. Y'all want to hear this story? Stick around and I'll fill you in. Some of America's favorite local spots, including Olive Garden, Applebee's, and IHOP, are being forced to dial back on online ordering and delivering options because of staffing shortages. That's what the Wall Street Journal is reporting. At the height of the pandemic, takeout and delivery services became a lifeline for these dine-in establishments. But as consumers return to restaurants and demand picks up, a scar scarcity of workers, scarcity, the lack of workers, means they're having to scale back. In an interview with the journal, John Payton, CEO of Pint Dine Brands, Dine Brands, which owns IHOP and Applebee's, I didn't know they were owned by the same company, well, we... If you didn't, we all do now, or we both do. Um, B -B 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 Appleby said the company had to shut down delivery options in the evening or on weekend mornings when it's most busy with eat-in customers. Wouldn't it be dine-in? Oh, well, either way. In the trade-off, we are always going to make sure that we're serving the guests that are physically in front of us because that experience has got to be right he told the paper and he's right garden restaurants which owns olive garden and longhorn steakhouse among other chains is doing the same and cutting its online delivering business at certain points on the weekends because of excess demand its CEO said in the recent earnings call. That kind of makes sense why Saturdays and weekends are kind of slacked off. That explains a little bit, in my area anyway. Meanwhile, the Cheesecake Factory, I, I've never been to the Cheesecake Factory. Are they pretty good? I've heard of them. I've just, we don't have one. I think there's one in Grapevine, Texas, somewhere down there. I've I, around the Metroplex somewhere. Anyway, meanwhile, the Cheesecake Factory has given its managers the ability to halt its delivery services at any time when the kitchen becomes overwhelmed. The company confirmed in a recent earnings call that it was facing staffing shortages, but said that these had not had a meaningful impact on sales so far. The retail food services industries are among those that have been worst impacted by the labor crunch with record numbers of workers quitting each month. These workers also have been put off by low pay, a lack of benefits, and pandemic health concerns, among other things, are often quitting to find better paying jobs in more stable industries. This has put many businesses in a challenging position and meant they've had to reduce hours or close entirely because they can't find enough staff. So there you have it. Uh, people are quitting because of the health risks and, and the low pay. As far as in a more stable industry. I don't know if you can get much more stable than a restaurant. And, you know, I'm not saying all restaurants, but uh, one thing guaranteed in life is uh, people are going to eat. I mean, there's two guarantees in life. You're going to die and you're going to pay taxes. Or you're going to pay taxes and then die. But uh, a, th a third thing is you're going to eat. Or whether you go to the grocery store and buy your own food or go to the restaurants, that, that's your choice there. But the thing of it is, I think 
restaurants are pretty stable as long as they have good management and it's run well. You get a good team and they're going to be hard to beat. So anyway, that kind of, like I said, that kind of explains why weekends are slower. I didn't realize that. But, uh, yeah, if you don't have enough staff to take care of the people in the dining room, I get that. Because, you know, they're, they're the ones that's getting out and coming in. Anyway, I hope you all found some kind of value in this little story. I certainly did. And, uh, that's that. Y'all keep smiling, dashing, dancing, prancing, doing whatever it is you want to do. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.